Hi, today we're going behind the scenes with wedding photographer Catherine Schultz. I'm going to follow her all day long. And you're also going to find out how to get the most out of your wedding photography when it rains on your big day. This is on Bradley TV. Today we've been invited to Nicole and Michael's wedding at Serafino McLaren Vale and photographer Catherine Schultz is giving us exclusive access to her thoughts and process as she goes about her work from the boys place to the girls place to the ceremony and reception and the traditional end of night for a photog, the first dance. But before we meet the groom, Catherine lets us in on a little secret. A kombucha and sushi. The most portable of wedding snacks. Ooh, special cars. <laughs> Hello. How are you going? Good, how are you? Yeah. Yay. You're filming me as well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll be in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Don't worry, I actually brought my own lunch. Do you actually mind if I pop this in the fridge? Is yeah, that that's okay? cool. I'll put that in the Thank fridge. you. Norris place. Mm -hmm. going You're going inside. It's really windy they, here, apparently. Yeah, okay, totally fair enough. Totally fair. Michael, what is in here? I thought so. Is this a Nicole, gift? Yeah, got it for me. Oh, that's so nice. I love when grooms have everything set up. It's very helpful. How's the light for you, Catherine, as well? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah, with the windows in here, it's really nice. Yeah. Awesome. So, Catherine, you just do this on the fly, right? Because yeah. you don't know what they're what gonna gonna going to give you, there. right? That's it. I'll just get there and be like, okay, what's important to you? What do you want photographed? I'm just being your um, pants and your shirt and have anything you want photographed out and ready. And look at this. She's done it really well. I love when people use nice, light, bright spaces, as a lot of photographers and videographers will tell you. The more light that's natural that can get in, probably the better if you're looking for more natural photos because you don't have to use flash. So if you kind of face towards where the um, door is, you'll get that beautiful light. And you can shut those doors behind you so we don't get the TV and stuff. Yeah, okay. See, right now this will be cut together into waiting time. Keeping the legs limber. <laughs> Are you wanting to have a toast or anything? Like a whiskey or...? Uh, yeah. A scotch. Delicious. And actually have a... Do a cheers. Bring your glasses together. Do a... Daniel. That's it. shoes yeah I love when places do have good wet, wet weather options yeah yeah yeah, yeah. then like uh oh it's raining we haven't planned for this less clutter means you can focus more on the people you may look at a room and think it's okay but um, when you've actually got a blanket space it allows you to focus best light as most photographers will say is like the hour before sunset if it's a clear day like this, when you got the light, like the sun's out, it'll drop nice and low, be golden. Um, but really any time on from probably two to three hours before sunset. Um, and if not, you can just shoot in the shade. We have a spot of shade.
chill. Bye. Yeah. I'm just about to start Michael and Nicole's wedding ceremony, so I'm gonna to have to stop filming Catherine for now. <laughs> Poor thing, she's probably really grateful. Then we can have another look at what Catherine does after the ceremony. Looking straight at me, now is your last chance to put your head in a gap. One, two, three. Looking at me. Great, Frasier and Georgia. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> this side of the family is rocking it. Look at me. Looking at me. <laughs> Looking straight at me. And through. <laughs> You know, some days the sun shines and some days it rains. You don't even know what's coming. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> just make sure the umbrella doesn't cover your face. Could you just come over me? Just slightly, just oh, of course, of course. Okay. Um, I would drop it if you can. Yeah, you rock. So if we come down... I've had a lot of rain on wedding days. The main takeaway is that whatever happens, your um, vendors should be equipped to deal with it. They're not going to stress out because they've got raincoats and umbrellas and things like that. Um, where there's a will, there's a way. No matter what happens, you are going to have photos. Um, if you're not wanting to get outside and you know that already, so you're looking ahead and it's going to pour and you think, I actually don't want to be walking around in the rain, tell your photographer or videographer so that they can um, start to scout some locations that will be indoors and work. If the camera's on you, it's because I'm watching you through the viewfinder and whatever you're doing is beautiful. So, especially if you hear the shutter click, mm. whatever you're doing is perfect and you just need to stay in that moment and not freak out because you, whatever you're doing looks amazing. Mm. I limit my season to 20 per year and that is pretty much because I like to be able to communicate with my clients in the lead up to the wedding and I find that that's a good number for me to feel like I can speak to them and give them a, um, assistance on timeline and that sort of stuff. Sometimes they might just be in their jocks when I get there. Oh, so. lucky you! <laughs>